All right, you guys. Unknown bogey. And I am drinking a beer. Uh, happy Easter to you all, 2014. And I'm sure I'll, I'll get this up. It's, it's probably actually going to be past Easter. But um, happy Easter to everybody. Uh, appreciate all my subscribers and all the people that, you know, just watch the video. Um, I really do appreciate it. I've had a number of these. Um, but before we get to cooking, because I am in the kitchen tonight, I want to give uh, a shout out to... Um, let me just grab my notes here real quick. <clears throat> Actually, I didn't need them because I did have it right. Um, DW Southern Cooking. Uh, <laughs> you know, I just uploaded a video. Uh, it was called Big Pond Soup, and I was just going right off the recipe. With the exception, I added another pound of ground beef, and it turned out to be just a wonderful dish it, it was really really good um, and so one of the people that subscribes to me and I subscribe to him he's like well that looks really interesting so he actually took it up another level he made it a little more beefy and you know what Daryl nice job I really appreciate that 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 was really that's a high compliment um, I just made the recipe straight up just because that's what it is so I thought we'd try it and he's like well no let's make it a little beefier I loved it Daryl I loved it and I loved your apron and I thank you for the shout outs I really do I appreciate it uh, the other person I want to give a special thank you to is uh, Paul Pennington if you have any kind of uh, you like guitar stuff this is a guy, go check out his channel. Um, and I'm serious about that. He does a really nice job. His wife, you know, they're all involved in guitar. Guitar making, guitar everything. They know all about it. I, I just enjoy watching it. I, I wish I could play guitar like that. And I've always wanted to learn it, but... Um, but, you know, New Year's Eve... He did just a nice little five or six minute jam just on the guitar and just threw it up. You know what? There you go. Enjoy it. He just I just watched one for his Easter 2014 uh, or the day before Easter 2014. I loved it. So, Paul, thank you. And I'm giving you a shout out for that. It, it, it's awesome. Just go watch it. It, it just really lightens things up. Uh, very nice job. What we're going to do tonight is, um, well, uh, we're going to cook something. So let's get you going. Um, yeah, let's get you going. Sorry about the ride, but here's what we're going to do. I'm going to flip my screen around, and I'm going to show you. All right, take that lid off that right there. <clears throat> All right, we got some bratwurst there, and they are, I'm not going to mention the name, but it's a popular name. Uh, they were on sale, and we got some sauerkraut there. We have a pan with some butter there, and we have some onions. Beneath that, we have some red and green pepper, which I washed and sliced and got all the seeds and everything out of them. So, I guess let's get this going. Let me uh, flip my screen around again. And let's get this cracking. Just, you know what, I, I'm not going to do a bunch of sides. Well, I never do any sides. Unless it's something baked in the oven uh, but I just kind of felt like man I need to do this today so stand by we'll get this all rolling alright guys uh, special treat for you and actually for me too because I here we go 
Guinness drought. And if you can read that at the bottom, brewed in Dublin. Now, I have never ever, surprisingly enough, had a Guinness beer. But what I was thinking today, while I was at work, because, you know, your mind's always working. Man, let's just take some brats that are on sale, and let's just kick it up a notch, just for fun. Oh my, look at that. Son of a... Beep! I've never had a drink of Guinness. Um, I've drank a lot of beers in my day, but... Let's take a swig of this and see what we got. Son of a buck, that's not bad. I'm I'm normally not a dark beer guy. That's actually really not bad. Um not sure how to describe it, but I don't think we have to. It's Guinness. So <clears throat> let me put this beer down. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with this. All right, we're back, and I, and I have to be honest. I've I've tried a lot of dark beers before, and I was not expecting that flavor. Uh, that's pretty smooth compared to a lot of beers that I've dark beers that I've tried. And so here's what we're gonna do. Oh yeah, you got it, baby. We're going Guinness. We are going Guinness on these brats. You know, and I got these brats for, well, I got it for $3.99 for the whole package. I think tonight what we're going to do is I think we're going to make each brat worth $3.99 or $4.99. I think that's what we're going to do. So, Dump in two cans of Guinness. Got five brats there. Let's turn this uh, stove on. Let's get her cranked up. Let's boil them brats up in Guinness. And we'll be back. Alright you guys, these brats have been simmering. and They've shrunk up quite a bit in this Guinness. For probably about a half hour. They were a little bit frozen, so it's you know it's not a big deal. Uh, we're gonna get the rest of this dinner rock, and I'll tell you what, man, that smells good. I I'm really surprised by that Guinness. I, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting a very very stout beer, and no, nah, it turned out not to be a stout beer. In fact, all right, here we are. Um, and I apologize. When I have uh, 10 beers in me, I tend to repeat myself, but let's give you a shot. I've got everything turned off. So there's our uh, onions, red peppers, green peppers. And there's our sauerkraut. It's all just holding. And there's our Guinness brats. I'm really excited to try these. And I'll tell you what, if they're good, I'm going hot pickle on this. I'm just saying. So uh, stay tuned. Let's get this plated up. Well, oh, I'm zooming you in. Let me zoom you out. Uh, I'm going to get this plated up. And we are going to load these brat buns up. And I'm I, if it's good, I'm going hot pickle on it. Guarantee it. So you guys just stay tuned. Alright guys, I'm, you know, my battery went dead and I only have one. I'm, I'm going to buy another one. But don't worry about it. It'll be alright. 
I know bogey is going to be just fine. Uh, let's get you in. <clears throat> well, first of all, let me show you. Uh, we got these buns right here. And I'll tell you what, I mean, seriously, <laughs> that brat's not even filling up the bun. But those brats are cooked in Guinness. So that's good. So let's, and, and the whole point of it is, let's load these son of a bitches up big time. I'm going to just keep scooping it on. Oh yeah, there we go. Peppers, onions, and kraut. Damn, come on, you can't bitch about that. Well, we'll see. I honestly, uh, this is something I kind of thought about at work today. <laughs> Hey, let's uh, do some brats and dark beer and let's just jack them up a little bit. Alright, so sorry for the ride. Let me flip my screen around. Get you focused back up on me. Oh, that's zoomed in. You don't want to do that. You do not want to zoom in on me. Uh, but let's give these a try. And you know what? I'm not even really concerned if I drop stuff on the floor or whatever. Actually, I am kind of concerned about it because my wife's like, holy shit. Fresh bakery bun. Oh man, that Guinness brat is really, really good. I'm making this one again. Holy cow, it's falling off my plate and right under the other brat. So, no problem, I'm gonna eat that too. Oh man. That is big time awesome. Gotta get a napkin. <clears throat> and I'll tell you how awesome it is. We are going hot pickle on this all the way. One pepper, one pickle, two peppers, three peppers, one pickle. That's how good that is. <clears throat> I gotta go whale on this meal. I'll check you guys later. Thanks for watching.